Hello, let me introduce myself. My name is Julia Blake and I'm a professional artist. I was asked by a friend of mine to create this video as you might have fewer visitors than you're used to during this interesting time. Um, I have a studio here in my home and um, this is where I do my painting. But first, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I became a professional artist at age 40 when my youngest of six children went off to preschool. I was about to start quilting. I had collected vintage fabrics and was going to make some patchwork quilts. But instead, I met artist Leslie Graff and she invited me out to her studio to paint. I had no interest in painting, but I wanted to be friends with her and I knew in my heart I should be. So that's what started this incredible journey that I probably wouldn't believe if I hadn't been living it myself. Fast forward eight years and my paintings have been sold in, to clients in 30 states and five continents. Um, I love what I do. Of course, I still love being a mother and um, my kids are my first priority. I only have two at home right now, so I turned this bedroom into an art studio and I'm gonna flip the camera around now and just show you a little bit about what I do and show you my mess where I create things. So this is a shelf with a lot of paint supplies and um, over here I have some canvases that I store. Most of my canvases I store in the basement. I'll give you a quick overview really quickly. I have some more canvases there against the wall. There's some big ones. I really love painting large. And this wall um, has a five by five canvas that is ready to go. I'm gonna do an abstract on it someday. Someday soon, hopefully. This is my idea wall or where I put some of my inspirations and uh, motivational quotes. I have post-it notes with some, also some inf inspiration for me. But um, let me start off here by talking about this beach abstract. So just about every March, I've just had enough of winter. And so I start painting really bright, colorful beaches as a way of looking forward to um, the coming summer. And I thought about my crowded beaches um, this April as we are maybe, a, a maybe thinking about things that we have taken for granted. And I think crowded beaches is one of those things. It's been a little controversial um, in the last few weeks. And um, I'm really thankful for the chances that I've had to gather on the beaches of Massachusetts with many, many of the other people. And I look forward to the time when we can do that again. Um, so colorful beaches really get me through. Here's some smaller ones that I work on. This table is a lot of fun. Let me just pause for a minute and talk about this table. Um, when Wellesley College Art Department started a renovation, they were getting rid of some of their old supplies and I was able to get this table through an art group that I belong to. And so this table means a lot to me. It has a lot of history. A lot of art um, has been created here by some um, great women at Wellesley College. This is a piece that I'm working on, a landscape. Um, it's, for, it's a commission for someone and will eventually have birch trees on it, but this is the background. Um, I start with a usually a really, really bright color in the background. In this case, it's this salmon color. And um, it's been a lot of fun. Um, over here, I'll show you a poppies piece that I have. This is um, one that I've held on to. This was one of my earlier pieces here at the top. And uh, I enjoy, really, really enjoy painting bright, colorful poppies. And I love the symbolism of poppies and um, perennials, really, how they just come up after a long winter when things appear to be dead. They just come up out of the ground and they give their beauty. But if you're not paying attention, those perennials will be gone and um, you missed it. So it's a reminder to me to not take things for granted, to slow down and enjoy um, enjoy life as it presents itself. Um, one more I'll show you and I'll talk about. This is an abstract of uh, Times Square in New York City. Um, and it's a busy, crowded square typically. And so at this time I pause to reflect on um, what it is like right now in New York City and the struggles that they're going through and um, hoping that we can all get through this together and that um, 
Times Square will once again be a crowded, happy place. Um, if you're still here, thanks for taking the time to um, visit me virtually in my studio. And um, I hope that art can comfort you and give you peace and meaning um, during this difficult time and in all times. And um, I wish you the very best.